Welcome to my store. You will see a lot of wonderful things in there. Come inside. Two years ago, in COVID-19, uh, we, we didn't open this grocery store uh, because uh, we intended to, uh, we want to have two people. That's why we opened this. Uh, because uh, some of the people, uh, they, they cannot go to the outside, like a supermarket or hypermarket. That's why uh, they want to get the food and they want to get the uh, important item near their house. That's why we intended to open this grocery store. We don't mean to get a profit, high profit. We just want to help people. That's why we open it. In Myanmar, uh, some of the people, uh, like uh, they go to the gym, uh, at the time uh, they're hungry, and uh, at the time we, we sell the like bread, uh, bread, uh, bread or some of the snack. Yeah, we sell. It's easy, only 500 jet. 500 jet is so cheap, right? So, and then uh, you're gonna eat and you're gonna go your journey like that. Everybody love to try this one. Easy robot. This is the uh, number one selling item. Yeah. If I order from my supplier, if uh, 10, 12, 20, 30, uh, only maybe uh, maybe five hours, six hours, almost there. And then this uh, normal bread. Uh, if you uh, eat with coffee, that won't be, they're gonna be good. And there's other as well. These are for the children. They like to chocolate bar. And then chocolate snack. Uh, this one is for sugar and bread, uh, dry bread. Actually, this kind of thing uh, is not good for health, but we said it because uh, some of the children, they want to eat. It's a uh, kind of sausage, yeah, kind of sausage. But uh, this, this sausage made uh, from corn, corn, yeah, corn, corn sausage. Uh, this one is a uh, bean sausage, yeah. Uh, these are candy. The candy is only 50 jet, uh, 50 jet, 100 jet. So if you have, if you buying uh, like a 400, uh, 50 jet, yeah, you don't have a uh, 50 jet uh, to, to chain back. At the time, I gave it this one, 50 jet, like that. It's a necessary item <laughs> for us. <laughs> because sometimes you have no 50, 50 jet, 100 jet, right? It's, uh, it's not so, how do you say? You cannot, see, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why you have to, you have to get that. In Myanmar, uh, you can see there are a lot of traditional tools. Because uh, in Myanmar, there are only uh, two class people low-end people and high-class people, no middle-class people. Uh, it's maybe because of political situation and current situation, and maybe uh, it's because of country situation. But whatever, uh, you will see a lot of grocery stores in Myanmar. It's uh, because uh, that's so important. How is it important? Because uh, in grocery store, you will see a lot of things like a uh, uh, kitchen, uh, some of the ingredients of the kitchen, and you will see the tissue and cigarettes, and, also a beaten nut, the shoe, these are the kitchen, uh, kind of chicken bone, uh, masala. In Yangon, we used to use it in Myanmar as well. Uh, yeah, for how to say, for small. And this are uh, bean bone, uh, for salad. And shoulder clear as well. Uh, these are the coffee mix. In Myanmar, uh, most of the people like to drink uh, ready-made coffee, three-in-one coffee mix. A lot of local people like to drink uh, three-in-one coffee mix, instant coffee mix rather than uh, the other real coffee mix because it's uh, cheap, uh, it's easy to drink. Uh, if you have uh, hot water, you can make it. Premier is the uh, number one in Myanmar. Myanmar secret. Orange juice, carabao, energy drink, dry tea, and other as well. Like that. That's why, how to say? That is why it's uh, soy milk, soy, soya bean milk. The main is uh, we mostly say water. Every liquid better than water. Water is better than every liquid. <laughs> but you know, we intend for some people who like a carbonated drink or energy drink. Yeah. As for me, I prefer water. And then these are Myanmar secret. Some uh, this one is a uh, 100 jet by each one. This one is a uh, 3 BC by each one is a uh, 100 jet. I mean, it's a uh, depend on company, and company is a uh, depend on company, and they are you know how to say their reputation gonna be high. Its price gonna be high like that. We call them a bee. It's a uh, fish paste. Fish paste, yeah. Uh, you will see lepado right? Chili salad. Have you ever had right? 
Myanmar, in Myanmar, a lot of people like chili salad. And also, uh, this one, a little bit, uh, how to say, salty. Salty. It's an uh, ingredient uh, like a uh, chili powder, uh, fish paste, and salt, like that. But it's a necessary item in Myanmar kitchen. If I, if I don't have any uh, special, like a uh, chicken or pork or like the fish, it's okay for me. Uh, just rice and a bit, it's okay. <laughs> so it's, it's necessary in Myanmar. And also we, uh, I want to say, we have uh, this one, like, yeah, we have uh, this one because uh, some of the people, they like the cigarettes. Okay, try me like that. Yeah. This rope is, uh, if they, they cannot take it easily, because someone can take it easily, that's why I, I'm, I'm tying it. <laughs> Uh, some of the people, when they go to work, they need uh, water and they, they, they chew the bitter nap. In Myanmar, a lot of people like, uh, they, they chew in the bitter. That's why we say as well. So I think uh, that is a sanction for people around, around our house. Yeah, we intend on like, uh, like helping people. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's for rela relax. Yeah. yeah, people, when they eat uh, bitter, uh, some of the people, they intend it for uh, good, good smell. Because uh, some of the people, they feel like a uh, bad mouth in Indian mouth, so no good smell. So at the time, they, if they eat uh, bitter, uh, they have a confidence. They talk to me like that. But yeah, uh, I see that kind of people, they, they like uh, bitter. Or uh, for some people, they, if they walk or if they walk like uh, sitting alone or like that, they are, they are really lazy or they are really, I to say, they feel so bored at the time, they eat the bitter and bitter now. That's why that is important for them. Yeah. I think uh, in my research, 60% uh, of the Myanmar, Myanmar men, they eat uh, bitter nut and 30% of the women, they eat uh, bitter nut. So, so that's why you will see a lot of, uh, how do you say, a bitter nut shop or grocery store in all around the Yangon and other city. Today, I, I'm just inviting you to my grocery store and how it operate and just sharing my experience. And as a bonus tip, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make a special bitter for you. For bitter, Myanmar bitter is a main thing is a bitter leaf and bitter nut and then slate line. That is important. Uh, some of the ingredients can change. Some of the people, they want to ask 92. We're going to give this. If not, so it's a project. We're going to give this. It includes uh, tobacco and kamega. Oh. Yeah, it's a kind of tobacco and kamega. Toba kind of tobacco and kamega, but it's different. We call that Bayama, but it's a project. And then this one, 92. We call that. In Myanmar, most of the bitter nut lover, they, they choose these two. Bitter nut, uh, 92 and project. For sweet one, for beginner, we're gonna see. We're gonna give uh, like a different taste. This one is a small one. This is a rose powder. It's for beginner or some of the women, they intend it for sweet. Oh. But maybe it's gonna be, uh, it's not sweet for you, but uh, for Myanmar people, it's sweet. <laughs> so it's a main thing is a bitter leaf, uh, bitter nut and slick lime. The main thing is a slick lime, and then uh, there will be a lot of Sprite. You know Sprite? Sprite. It's a Sprite. Yes, it's a drink. Uh, we add a little bit, and then uh, we add uh, some of the honey. Honey. All right. Yeah, honey. And then uh, we add the uh, milk powder. Milk powder. We add that. So I'm gonna make a special for you because uh, you're beginner, and um, I will treat you special one. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, uh, I'm not professional, maybe there, there may be something wrong, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sharing my friend, okay? First of all, we need to do this, and then, beat enough, I'm going to add, this sweet, it's good. Maybe this uh, kind of ingredient, we call the pala. Uh, uh, this is for beginner. It's a, I want to say, rose powder. Rose powder. But I want to say, it's a little bit, uh, smell is good, and you, you can eat it. So, try it. Then, this one. This one is a uh, frying coconut. Do you know coconut? Yeah, I, yeah. This is a frying coconut. Yeah, for sweet. We're gonna add. Uh, 
and then how to say we can add sorry okay we call that nejo i have no idea how to say english but it's also the uh, how to say it's also tasty how what fine is a uh, sweet liquid you going to add okay it's going to be perfect and uh, i'm not professional maybe that's a little bit how to say wrong for me but i will i will do it for you Thank you. Oh, just chew it. Yeah, just chew it. For how long? Yeah, for one bite. Uh, no, uh, you, you don't need to swallow. Just taste it. How does it taste? Yeah, this one is sweet. Sweet, yeah. yeah. And then? A bit sour as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not really sour. Yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Myanmar, most of the Myanmar people like it. Oh, it's better than white pork? If you eat uh, bitter, that is good. But uh, if you eat too much, that's going to be a cancer or like that. No good. I'm just sharing the experience and I'm just sharing uh, the important and vital rule of the bitter. But don't eat too much. Yeah.